everybody, wherever you are. Hope you're all keeping safe and well during this pandemic, health crisis, whatever you want to call it. Welcome to a special edition of All Things Outdoors, the isolation edition I'm calling it. And actually, today is also Anzac Day. Now, if you don't live in Australia or New Zealand, you probably don't know what Anzac Day is. It's uh, our version of Veterans Day or, or you know, a day to commemorate those who've uh, served their country through military service. Um, ANZAC stands for Australian and New Zealand Army Corps. Now the 25th of April marks the anniversary of the date back in 1915 when uh, Australian and New Zealand forces were involved in their first basically major uh, campaigns of any uh, world war and it's basically a day where Australia and New Zealand came of age, both as, as countries in their own right. So it's a pretty big deal for Australia and New Zealand to commemorate this day and celebrate their veterans. But unfortunately today, due to the pandemic of COVID-19 that's sweeping the, the globe, uh, all of those commemorations have had to be cancelled due to obviously uh, public gatherings. So, like myself, everyone's been commemorating it from home today. Six o'clock this morning, I was out in my driveway uh, with my medals on uh, to commemorate that by listening to the last post. I've got a flagpole in my front yard, so I, I dropped my uh, Australian national flag to half mast, observed the, the last post that was played, and a minute silence. Um, I did mention that I was wearing my medals. I might have alluded in previous videos that I'm also a return serviceman myself. I spent uh, six years in the Permanent Air Force from 1999 to 2005, which just happened to be one of the most uh, busiest periods that our country has seen in conflict in recent years. And it's all me deployed to uh, the various conflicts uh, like the, the one in Afghanistan and also the war in Iraq back in 2003, so did a bit of travelling in my time. So I did mention that this is an isolation episode, so up until about a week ago in the state of Victoria where I live, it was actually illegal to go out paddling. And the government of Victoria, I guess quite rightly made that decision because they didn't want people going out, straying away from where they live, uh, possibly getting in harm's way and then maybe people have to come out and rescue them and put themselves in harm's way to go and do so, potentially risking infection with COVID-19. So I understand the concept why they said that that wasn't an appropriate form of exercise, uh, or sorry, within the scope of exercise as the, the Victorian Chief Health, Health Officer calls it. Um, but since in the last week or so, the Chief Health Officer has said that paddling is in within scope of exercise. As long as you um, observe, obviously, all the precautions, don't stray too far from home. To to go out and, and paddle, and the beauty of it for me is that I live 100 metres from the King River, so I can very much stay within my neighbourhood and go out and paddle, which is what I'm doing today. Now, these last couple of weeks, I've been on a bit of a mission. Tom, my little, by the time you see this, three-year-old son, and I have been coming down here quite regularly because we've been told, just near the bridge here, lives a platypus, one of the most reclusive river animals you'll ever see. And for those that uh, have never heard of a platypus, platypus before, might not think it exists because it is the weirdest looking animal that you've ever seen. It's like the combination of a duck and a beaver and a river rat and all sorts of things and it just sounds made up but I can assure you they're quite real and uh, they exist but they're quite a reclusive animal. They're actually a, a subspecies of marsupials called monotremes so that means they're an egg laying marsupial. I've heard one lives right underneath this bridge somewhere. So Tom and I, the last couple of weeks, have been down here quite regularly trying to find it. Oh, 
Maybe I can still find him. Just saw a tiger snake. I was trying to coax him out so that you guys could see him. Quite late in the season to be seeing snakes too. So I might not have shown this to you guys yet. Um, as you might have seen from my last big adventure video that I did back in December doing the 40 kilometers down the, the Lower Ovens River, I took a big uh, fiberglass canoe down there, which I'd borrowed off someone because I still wasn't too sure about canoes. But uh, that uh, trip really sold me on them, so I went out and bought myself a second-hand one, and still quite an old one as well, a uh, fiberglass canoe for $100. And I found that it was at least half the weight of that one that I'd used, that I'd borrowed. So it weighs probably about 20 kilograms for a fiberglass canoe, which is pretty impressive. 